Okay, so we are going to do a walkthrough video for this project on Trailhead. Customize a Salesforce object. Let's go ahead and start the first one. So work with standard and custom fields. Before we begin, you need to create a new Trailhead playground. Click create a new TP. Just scroll down all the way here. Use a fresh one. So I'm going to click the arrow and create a trailhead playground. So while it's creating, it's going to take a few minutes, maybe a couple of minutes. But yeah, wait until that's done. Then you can rename the playground and um, name it as a Salesforce project, like customize a Salesforce object. So we can use that brand new playground to verify each steps there. So it's done now, but I want to rename my playground to something more specific. So you can go here and then go to your hands on orgs. Here you can rename your playground. Let's rename this to uh, what's the name of the project? Customize a Salesforce object. Yeah, I'm just going to copy this and rename my TP to this one. So if I close and I go back to this particular section, we should have customized a Salesforce object TP. All right, so let's launch and start the walkthrough for the first one here. So as it's launching, let's see what we need to do. So I'm going to I'm going to um, bring this to my other screen so you don't have to read the text but I am going to go through the steps together and you can just watch the video. All right. So first we want to create two profiles. Uh, one is sales user. One is support user. Let's go ahead and do that. Go to setup and then profiles. I'm going to close this guy. This is pretty straightforward. Two new profiles from standard user. I want to use that. And then sales user. And another one, new profile standard um, standard one standard user and I'm going to change this to support user okay so the next step is we are going to change the tab or the label for um, rating to prospect rating tab Rename tabs and labels on the accounts tab, not the actual account um, object. We are going to rename the field. So next is the field. We are going to rename rating to prospect rating. So I'm just going to add the word prospect rating there. Okay. Let me see. Um, do we need to change anything else? No, nope, that's it. I'm going to hit save now at the bottom or at the top. Next section, um, we are going to add account rating pick list. Okay, now we're going to play with the account object and then fields and relationships. Let's check prospect rating here. I'm going to click on that. Now we are going to um, first add a help tag for the prospect rating so I'm going to edit that and I'm going to copy the help text here and take away the extra line and save so this help text will provide that eye icon which you can hover your mouse over and it will say that text there this particular help text okay so and then we want to add in the account rating um, 
pick list value. So account rating pick list value, make a new one. And we are going to call it not known. Not known and save. And we need to also check the field level security here. Set field level security. And then everybody read only. Okay, select the checkbox to read for a column header. And then we want for our sales user um, to be able to write, read and write. So for sales user here, sales user is not read only. So sales user can uh, save the field or read and write. Okay, and I'm going to save that. That's basically it. Now, next we are going to uh, go to the support plan. So still on the account object, we are going to make a new field, which, which is a checkbox. And it's called has support plan. So go here. Um, new is a checkbox. Next has support plan do we need some uh, description yes i'm going to copy the description over from the trailhead and the help text as well make sure you also remove extra lines when you're copying and then next also read only for everybody and then sales and support user can write it so read only for everybody okay and then sales and support user sales user can oops uh yeah can do that and support user can also write on it so this basically says the account has a support plan yes or no and the only users that can modify that are the sales user and the support user and let's add that to the account uh, page layouts and save. Okay, so next we are going to support, uh, create a support expiration date field, which is a date field. I'm just gonna copy the field name. So it's a date field um, here, not date, and time just a date field and it's called support expiration date I'm going to copy the description over and I have text as well when is it due for renewal and next same thing and we're going to say sales and support user can read and write but everybody else can only read like that but sales and support user can write that field so I'm gonna uncheck the read only and save and add those to the page layout and save that's it so I'm gonna um, bring back my trailhead window here and snap it over there and let's verify our challenge so basically we create two new profiles and then we create two new fields and only the support and sales user can update those two new fields and we also created a new value for the pick list for the rating and we rename the label the label as well that's it let's verify the steps and i will see you on the next one which is create pick list and field dependencies. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word 
watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.